Hello! Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2. I'm Pokemario 101. I'm Luigi3697. Doing this against his will. Seriously, he's tied to a chair. Really? They don't know this. <laughs> okay, it was a joke. Why are you cracking your knuckles? I don't know. More awesome introness. Oh. Did you just say introness? I I like to add ness to the end of things. Deku Linkness? <laughs> yes. Big Starship Marioness? Okay, that's taking it a bit far. Big Starfness? Now nah, he's just fat. And in the last episode we got the first star of Fluffy Bluff, I believe. Right? What? Uh, the only star of Fluffy Ball. In this episode, we're finally going to do the boss! Woo! And it's kind of pathetically easy. Dude, it's the first boss. What would you expect? Yeah, but it's not go my easy, but it's still easy. Oh. Gobble Guts Aching Belly. Gobble Guts? Yeah. What is this game for? Meant for 40? Kinda. It's a it's a Mario game. It's supposed to appeal to all audiences. I almost, beat this, I almost beat this game within three days of renting it. What does that have to do with anything? I said it appeals to all ages. Oh, okay. I thought you meant that it was tricky. I remember that Marshall said that this game was complex. Really? Yeah. Really? Oh. And like I made a point, it's like the controls are easy to use, but they're hard to master. And then he says, "Exactly." <laughs> okay, hang on. I'm trying to get onto the swamp. There we go. Mystery and that's how you get the comet medal. Call them mystery <laughs> and we just gotta go over here. Yeah, you gotta spin those guys and then jump on them. That's it. That's the only re way you can. That's the only way you can defeat these guys. And their glowing eyes always remind me of the Garo from Majora's Mask. You're not enjoying this much, are you? Well, there hasn't been really anything awesome yet. Not even this planet covered in lava? Yeah. I always like so how these TVs show, like, show, actually show you. But there's actually no use for since we're doing an idea this. Well, they're just supposed to like show you how to perform some of the more complex moves in the game, which aren't really that complex. Dude, jump A. I know, but it's just like how to do long jumps and backflips and sideways somersaults. Sideways somersaults. Basically, if you like hold it in one direction and then you pull back and press A, you'll like do a sort of like backwards flip. What do I need my dad's help to finish you off right now? Best pass for you. Oh, gobble got dinnered on. Don't forget to protect your penny ache bulgeness. That's one of the problems with this game. All the bosses have obvious weak points. It's kind of obvious, too, because that's what Nintendo does. They highlight important stuff in red. Alright, so basically he's gonna start chasing you, and then he's gonna drill himself into the planet. And then he's gonna get angry. Well, basically you wanna try to hit those things. Those red... Like the red... Jelly things? These belly ache bulges. Okay. Uh, nom nom nom. When you hear that, it means he's gonna start drilling into the planet. You don't wanna hit the first three. Why? Because, like, that makes hitting these all the harder later. Because, like, now he gets really mad and he gets fast. And that makes hitting the other ones harder if you don't do them first. I mean, see, he's, like, right on my tail. Now 
that was the first boss. I actually took a hit on Goma and I do this guy without taking a hit at all. He almost did once. He was like real close to you. Whoa! It's a different star. This is a grand star. Yeah, that's why it's a lot bigger. And it has those little and a lot more cooler things. You got a grand star. Hooray. Actually, isn't this music like directly from the first Super Mario Galaxy? Like this music right here. I don't know. And instead of actually powering up the ship, it creates a portal to the next world. So basically, you had the power to go further on. I look. have the power! You just needed a Grand Star to make a portal. Wow, look at that. You did it. You brought yeah. back a Grand Star. That's great. Now we can use the power of the Grand Star to travel. We're one step closer to retrieving your special one. Buddy! Through space and time to the unknown world we're going. I'm jiggling just thinking about it. That's great. <laughs> Not surprising. Jiggling with... And how about he eats a chocolate bar? Do you think you're... Do you think you're fit? Yeah, then take off your shirt and jump up and down. No, why? Because I'll jiggle. <laughs> <laughs> Mario's head farts rainbows. <laughs> What's that? Oh, that's just a dog crapping a rainbow. Lightning doesn't strike the same spot twice because it knows Chuck Norris is looking for it. <laughs> okay, there should be plenty of power stars here. Go on. I never really liked the atmosphere of this world. It's all orange and kind of depressing. How is it depressing? I want to do this world! I want to do it! Yeah, okay. You Woo! You can do this one. Yeah. I'm going to admit it. When I did when I did the green star like green star two on this, it broke me. I'm not gonna lie, I hate this galaxy because that one star. Really? Yeah, it's that frustrating. I found this one easy. No no no, the green stars. The green stars. It's a secret thing after the game. Oh. Like once you beat once you beat the game, the green continents start going and like Alrighty. green stars fall let over. See, let me see if I got the controls. Yeah, you're gonna need to know how to ground pound. You know how to do that? Yep. Wait a minute. Do you know how to home ground pound? Yep. I like this song. So yeah, I'm not sure if I explained how to homing ground pass. Aha! Here we go. But basically, if you jump, spin, and halfway through your spin, if you press the Z button, Mario will actually home in on something he can ground pound on. For example, dude, not that. you failed. Not that. Jump. See like that? Yeah, like that. I like his pose after. He's like, ta-da! So it's this one that makes the star come on. Yeah, just go. You wanna know something? You don't actually need to go to the other side of this planet to do this. You can pretty much just backflip and spin. Really? That's always worked for me. You want me to try? Alright, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go to the other side and actually ground pound these platforms in. Dude, I, dude, you know that's just making it harder on you. Especially because he's like, because that space Octorok is shooting you. Woo! Space Octorok says this is a great game. Oh, and Woo! And the platforms come on to the other side of the planet. We And here comes the mechanic of this 
level. Basically, these saws will come out and actually start sawing the pla sawing the planet and causing it to fall into the abyss. I like saying that word, abyss. <laughs> Dude, you're going so fast, I'm afraid you're just gonna run into something. I have to see how confident I I know, right? Now, see, like that! Way to go, Quinn. You made me, you made me superstitious. Whoa. No! I, I don't think you know what superstitious means. Okay, I misused the term. No, you don't have enough to buy anything from me. Wow, this episode's almost up. Really? Yeah, we're at like the 11 minute and 5 second mark. I guess we can just finish this up. My skill is this boss will take that long. It's not really even a boss. It's, it's, more like, it's just a mini it's boss. It's more like a Nintendo mini boss. And like, which are basically just big enemies. Ta -da. It's a bug! And here's another bug! And another bug! Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, don't even bother doing that. You squashed my friend! Roar. My name is Omega Montoya. You killed my friend. Prepare to die. It was killed my father. I know, but, you know. Hang on. Screen tape. And until that time, I'll be running around the star. It's crap already. Woo! Hand back. Alright, we'll see you in the next episode. Um, Bye! I'm Pokemario101, he's Luigi3667, and we're signing off. Goodbye! Bye!